Hey YouTube, what's up? We are ready for part two of Let's Play Final Fantasy Ten Ten Two Remaster. Now, this is kind of interesting because I haven't really figured out all the details I need to do on this camera, but it's coming out to be pretty well. Or it's turning out really well so far. Alright, so now we got a lot of sin scales. I think that's what they're called. Pretty sure. And don't mind me, I'm gonna have a little bit of chocolate while I'm doing this because, yo, know, chocolate. Sin scale, yes, I was right. Aha! And I made a key misplay already. Not that it really matters this early on, but it could come back to haunt me in the future. Um, for those who haven't played Final Fantasy X, um, if you notice, on the right-hand corner, there's a strange-looking gauge that I can scroll up and down like I am right now. Um, this gauge actually tells you the turn order. And so I'm going to choose one that's in front, kind of, and just deal with it real quick. Just to kind of delay it a bit. But to be completely fair, it doesn't matter that much. Now, that, on the other hand, could be a problem. Hmm. This could be bad. That. Knock it down. What? <laughs> Trust me, you'll see. Yeah, knock is blowing up this thing. Good idea. Well, I guess we can trust Orin. So, we might as well. More flicker wings, huh? Now, if you notice, I'm doing more damage to that tanker with Orin than I am Titus. But that's because right now Titus is basically a pansy. I really hope the future installments of this will be live. Down you go. Okay, not quite. Now it goes down. Okay. I've always played this for the fun, but uh, you better move. <laughs> you know, some people might call Titus a pansy or a coward or whatever, but in cases like that, I can't exactly blame him. Him shouting over a building nearly crushing him, that's a bit of shout over if you ask me. And I'm breaking my rule of talking during cutscenes. Whoops. Lauren! Lauren! Mm, that's just gorgeous. This 
Hey man, let me go. Again, I can't blame him for screaming. I would too. I'm going to turn my computer off so you don't hear the background noises of it any longer. Should have thought of that. My bad. Hey. Hey. Don't want to talk to you. Grr. <laughs> my old man? Now we're just swimming along all lazy like. That's okay. I thought about a lot of things. Like where I was, what I got myself into. I started to feel lightheaded and then sleepy. I think I had a dream. A dream of being alone. I wanted someone, anyone, beside me. So I didn't have to feel alone anymore. Understandable. So far I'm not seeing anything that's too surprising. And the nice thing about this camera, actually, now that I think about it, is I'll also be able to do PS2, PS1, etc. And that's going to get me excited. Hello, welcome to Insanity. Anybody there? Nope. Aaron! Stop trying, man. Uh, well, for the sake of the Let's Play, we're going to actually go ahead and not use the save file for the let uh, the primers, which I have some of them already. I just got this game a couple days ago, so... Eerie, ominous music. It's like the black wind howls almost. For those who catch the reference, 50 cookie points or something. Brownie points maybe? Cookie points? Take your pick. They're both sweet and tasty. Alright, so we got some potions. That's good. Potions are very good here. Now, if you've already played the game and you have the primers, you can come right here and get your Albed primers, but we're not going to do that here, even though I have Albed primers. But we're not done in this area. Assuming I can get around the pillars. There we go. Now, if you understand the Albed language, there's this here. But alas, we don't understand the Albed language yet. So it just... What do we have here? No, nope. can't read it. Basically. That or someone's devoted entirely too much time to master the Albed language. If you have, well, that's actually pretty impressive. I'll, I'll give you props for that. But there's also this here. Woohoo! Money, money, money! And let me tell you something, you can never have too much money. And I actually, though, think about it, I think we're done here, so let's keep moving.
if I miss something, uh, viewers, feel free to chew me out for it. I'm going to try to complete the entire game and get everything. But it's possible I'll miss things because I'm doing a lot of this from memory. Although I will say this, I'm probably not going to do the lightning challenge because my reflexes aren't the best right now after an accident I had at work a while back. Until that medical issue's cleared up, I'm probably not going to be able to pull that off. High potion. So far, so good. High potion restores a thousand health instead of two hundred, like the potion does. So we're going to want to hold on to that until we really need it. And we won't need that until we get a lot more HP. Because I think right now a potion will fully heal us. If not, it'll come pretty close. I swear, Titus can swim like a fish. Then again, he is a blitzer, so... Maybe that makes sense. Alright, all you had to do is go forward a little bit. And now... Cutscene. That's something you're going to notice about this game. It's very story-based. Don't kill me! fish want to eat me. Okay, so a potion can't fully heal me, but it'll do a nice, significant chunk of my HP. Two down, one to go. Um, maybe not. Something's coming. Oh, hello. Yeah, we decided it'd be a good idea to run. And he gets a snack. I guess it didn't taste good. Uh oh. So now we're gonna fight this guy. And we're ambushed in the process. Ow. Yeah, we're gonna beat this guy. We're doing all 30 damage. Ow. Grand total is 60 so far, and I'm almost dead. Yeah, good time to run. Actually, it probably would have been a better time to run earlier, instead of right before you get eaten alive. Maybe that's just me. You better move it! Someone's after breakfast, lunch, or dinner, whatever time it is. Save! Yay, we're safe! We got away from the giant killer fish. Scrolling, and of course. I had made it out of the frying pan and into the freezer. I thought I was going to die in this place. All right, so we're still in the tutorial area, in case you're wondering. We're basically done with fights for a while. And we're being introduced to a new element of the game. One that a lot of people probably don't like a lot of, but I didn't mind so much myself. It was a nice change of pace, I felt.
welcome to your doom. That would be really lame, actually. Get into the game, you spent $40 on Final Fantasy X when it first comes out, thinking it's going to be an amazing game, and then it ends right here. <laughs> Fire. That would really bite. Thankfully, that's... Okay, thankfully that's not the case, but, you know. I'll try to avoid the spoilers for those who haven't played Final Fantasy, Final Fantasy X-2. Um, I have played a lot of the Final Fantasies, so... I, I'm sure that was a treasure chest. Oh, I guess not. Okay. Anyway, back to what I was saying. I've played the two games a lot, so I know I'm pretty well. But, be that as it may... Oh, excuse me. I'm sure I'll experience things that I've forgotten or I've uh, never seen before. Especially since this apparently is like extended content and stuff like that, which is great. Because all I had was the North American release version. I think it was like the greatest hits. I'll have to check my PS2 collection, but I don't want it right now. I'm lazy like that, I guess. <laughs> So right now we're trying to make a fire, so we need flint, and we need something to put the fire up. And that's basically all we needed. But there are other items we can get, so let's get those. Yeah. Because we're greedy. It's kind of the rule of the RPG. RPG heroes are jerks, they steal everything. Oh, you got a treasure chest full of money, huh? Guess what, it's mine now. Oh, you have a potion for your sick... Daughter? Okay, I'll take that too. For the greater good, I must steal your laundry. <laughs> okay, maybe not the last one. Then again, maybe. Depends on the game. And now we can examine the fire. And... Ch 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 boom. Okay. Uh, boom. There we go. I tried to spark it a little too soon. You know, what really kind of makes me go, uh, about this scene is the fact that that wood lit so, well, easily. I mean, look at this place, it's drenched. Water's pouring down, I'm surprised the floor isn't, like, soaking by now. I need food. Yeah, I can't blame you. What do you want? It was a bad call. Your team lost because of you. You came to say that? It's been ten years. I thought you'd be crying. Who? Me? You cried. You cried. Uh, that is pretty crybaby-ish, that there. Then again, I mean, teams are important to people, you know? So, I mean, if I was on one and basically made the bad call, I'd feel pretty bad. I don't know if I'd cry over it, but I would feel pretty bad about it. Hey, wait, wait! Uh, don't go out on me! Uh, uh, just hold on, I'll get more wood. Yes, talk to the fire. And that fire was the only thing keeping you safe from that. Time to die. <laughs> I swear, he should have died like six times already. First in Xanarkin, like twice, once he, you know, when he fell from the cliff, and then when Orin and him decided to go chase down Sin. Give me a break! And then the time he got sucked up by said Sin. That's right. So that's three times right in Xanarkin. Then waking up in the water, normal person probably would have drowned. Then, of course, the giant fish, so that's five, and now this is six. Seven if you count the fact that he's lucky to have the fire. 
And this guy's lucky. <laughs> Don't shoot me. <laughs> and that is one of the freakiest outfits I've ever seen. Even to this day, it's still freaky. You on my side? Cool! Chuck that grenade. Boom. Might as well potion up here. Probably don't need to, but I want to anyway. Just so I can pill for grenade after grenade. Grenade. Assuming I can speak anyway. Ah, missed the steel. Missed another steal. Would you stop attacking Titus? I know everyone else pronounces it Titus, but I don't care. You can get potions early on, so I don't really care about them. I just want to pull for me a bunch of grenades. There it goes. Five ain't bad. Yeah. Got our first sphere level, and again, that's almost overly suggestive, even though she's fully clothed. The green ropes really don't help things in the suggestive nature. That was close. Uh oh. Hey, let me go. Don't kill me. Frederick Drak. The fiend Iris Atekiaka. Walk in a coup. Damn it. We kill it? Fred! No, stop. Actually, let's stop. Uh, I don't well, know what this is. Is it better? Sorry. Ow. K.O. You win! Titus, on the other hand, decides to take a dirt nap. Man, he's had a rough already. I mean, good grief. Nearly died like seven times. Um, by right, should have died seven times, really. Um, then gets punched in the gut just for fighting off something that wanted to kill him. Man. I feel bad for the guy. This is probably day three he hasn't eaten, so... Hey, that hurts. Usuje, right? Whoa. Okay. That's tattoo, man. Hey, nurse. I don't understand. 
understand. I called him up. Fred! He said you can stay if you make yourself useful. You... you understand me? Ow! All right, I'll work. <laughs> yeah, he didn't exactly have a lot of choice, actually. That's our first Albed primer. Congratulations us, we did it. So now we understand one letter. Where, who, Jeta, who Jeta, whatever that is, meaning. We're going to save and actually end this episode here. But we've done pretty good progress here, so we're not looking too shabby. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed episode two. I'm going to go ahead and upload this as soon as I get the uh, last one edited. Um, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, or whatever, and I will see you on the next Final Fantasy X-10-2 remastered episode.